Hi there, I'm Hannah, this is Real Yoga, and today's practice is Real Yoga for Jet Lag. So I myself have just come off of a three and a half hour flight, followed by a 16 and a half hour flight, followed by a further hour and a half flight. So I really need this practice today. If you've also been flying for a long time or even just a short time and you really feel like your body clock is way out of whack, this one's gonna be a nice gentle practice. We'll start with a few poses to help us sort of wake up a little more, but we'll end nice and chilled. So when you're ready, grab your stretchy pants and I'll meet you on the mat. Okay, so let's start with the feet about hip distance apart. Make sure that the toes are facing forward and the edges of the feet are parallel, lining up with the edges of your yoga mat. Nice. And then from here, really press into your feet so that you feel that you can grow a little taller. And then inhale to reach the arms all the way up, interlace the fingers, leaving out your pointer fingers and thumbs. So we're shooting our water pistol to the sky. Reach the arms up, but drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then as you inhale, feel like you lengthen from the waist up, 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 up. And exhale, lean over to one side. Nice. Try to press evenly through both feet. So you can stick the opposite hip out, but can you press into the foot side of that hip? If that makes sense. <laughs> Make sure your belly's not sticking out or in. Everything's on the same plane. Inhale, breath here. One more exhale, maybe find a little more. And then draw the belly in. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Nice. And again, as we inhale, reach, 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 find length in the waist, and then exhale to the other side. Beautiful. Again, press down into both feet as evenly as possible. And notice if this gives you more space to bend sideways a little more. Beautiful. One more breath in. One more breath out. Reach, reach, reach through the fingers. And inhale, draw the belly in as you come all the way up and exhale to release the hands nice take your feet super super wide about a whole legs distance between both feet and again keep making sure that the edges of your feet are parallel to the edges of your mat so toes face forward or maybe they slightly turn in so you choose which feels best for you and then really start to press down into the feet especially those outside edges and at the same time feel like you engage the inner thighs so you feel this lift from the inner thighs all the way up until you reach your base camp the hips take the hands to the hips inhale roll the shoulders back lift the chest and then as you exhale we're going to start to lean forward and come into a wide-legged forward fold so come down about halfway. From here, you can release the hands down. Maybe they touch the mat, maybe they don't, it doesn't matter. Press into your fingertips, inhale, take another breath in, find length through the spine. And then as you exhale, start to let the head and neck relax down and come into your version of your forward fold. Nice, keep pressing into the feet so the legs are super strong here. Nice, drawing the belly in, maybe finding a little more space. Even for me, you can tell I've been on a plane for a long time because my head's nowhere near the mat today, which is totally cool. Take one more breath in. Exhale here. And then press into the hands or the fingertips again. Come up halfway. Turn your right toes towards the right edge of the mat and start to walk the hands towards that side. Pivot on the back foot. Frame the front foot with both hands and then bend through the front knee. Make sure front knee is directly over the front ankle. So we're in a low lunge here. Roll the shoulders, lift the chest. Back leg either stays strong or you can drop the back knee down if you need a little more rest after your flight. But it should feel nice to give the legs a little bit of a stretch after that long, long flight. Beautiful, take another breath in here. If you've come down on the back knee, tuck the toes, lift the back foot, and we'll slowly walk again through our wide-legged forward fold. Start to pivot the right foot forward, 
Keep going, keep going, keep going until your left toes turn forward and the back left foot pivots and we come into the lower lunge on this opposite side. So fingertips frame the front foot here. We roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Back leg stays strong or back knee drops down. It's your choice. Whatever feels best in your body. Sink the hips as much as you can. Try to find strength in this in both legs. Take a deep breath in. And then this time, as you exhale, press into the hands and step the front foot back. We'll come into a downward facing dog. So spread your fingers really wide, pedaling the knees out one at a time. Just finding any movement here that feels nice and organic. Maybe you twist the hips a little, shake out the head, a little yes, a little no. And then when you're ready, come to stillness. Press into the hands and feel that the more you press into the hands, the more your butt wants to lift up to the sky, lengthen through the spine, and then maybe try to find length through the legs, but make that the final priority. Nice, one more big breath in here. One more exhale, should feel nice. Big, deep, full body stretch. And then slowly start to walk the feet about halfway into your mat, cross the ankles, and we'll come to sit all the way down and continue the journey all the way down onto our backs. I'm gonna undo my little top. Nice. Ah, this feels good already. Maybe let's stay here and fall asleep at three o'clock in the afternoon, which has totally been in my life this week, <laughs> right? Bring the feet about hip distance apart with the heels close to the bum and we'll set up for a bridge pose. So tuck your shoulder blades underneath your body and press into your hands. Press into the feet, press into your big toes and on an inhale, start to lift the hips up to the sky. This might be enough for you. Keep pressing into your foundations, your shoulders, your forearms, your elbows, your hands and your feet. Or if you like, you can interlace the fingertips and tuck the shoulders under even more. Find one more breath, maybe lift the hips a little bit higher. Lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, gently release the hands if they've interlaced and slowly roll your spine very gently all the way back down to the mat. Nice. Take the feet gently together. Let the knees go out wide. We'll stay in Supta Baddha Konasana just for a breath here. Exhaling. And then bring the hands to the outsides of the legs to draw the knees back together. Bring the right knee in and send the left leg out long. Squeeze that knee in towards the chest. Maybe give your foot a little ankle roll or whatever it needs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel this nice compression with the leg and the belly. And then take the left hand to the outside of your right knee, your right hand out to the side, and we'll come over into a recline twist. So right knee goes over to the left, keeping that right shoulder down towards the mat. And the head and neck can go wherever feels most comfortable. If you want even more twists, you can look towards your right hand, or you can just keep your head and neck neutral. Keep drawing the knee down towards the earth. It doesn't matter if it's nowhere close. Expect that your body is not gonna feel 100% after it's been sitting down in transit for so long. This is not what us humans are really designed to do. So be gentle and slowly come back to center. My stomach just grumbled really hardcore. I wonder if my mic's gonna pick that up and then swap. So left knee comes in, right leg goes out long. Squeeze that knee in, feel that compression on the belly. Also good for digestion, which we all know is a little bit of a mess when we're traveling. And then when you're ready, right hand to the left knee, left arm out long and we come to find our twist on the opposite side. Trying to keep the left shoulder down towards the mat. Big breaths here. Really breathing into the belly. Feeling it balloon up as you inhale and relax as you exhale. And then slowly making your way back into center. Grab both knees, hug them in. And then we'll take the hands to the insides of the legs and reach around for the feet. 
coming into a happy baby pose. Of course, if you can't reach your feet, you can grab your shins or your ankles or behind the knees even. But whatever you're doing, flex your feet a lot and then draw the knees down in towards your armpits. Try to press your sacrum, your lower back down towards the mat. Nice, big release for the hips. They probably feel a little tight as well, let's be honest. But everything is <laughs> after a big, big flight. Even if you haven't just had a big flight and you just sort of feel jet lagged anyway. <laughs> This might be nice for you. One more big breath in. One more exhale. Can you draw the knees down a tiny bit more? And then gently release the feet, but keep the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. We'll come back into Supta Baddha Konasana. Maybe you'd like to bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest, and close down the eyes here. Tuck the chin in slightly so you feel length through the back of the neck. And then start to breathe into your hands. It was a short little practice today, but hopefully enough to get a little bit of blood flow, a little bit of stretch in those muscles. And of course, you can come back and restart the video if you need a bit more. And if you're totally ready to go to bed in the middle of the afternoon, <laughs> you have my permission. Not that you needed it. <laughs> One more big breath in. And out. Bring the hands together, thumbs at the third eye. We'll sign off here. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Namaste.